that makes me literally like you can't, you're not safe like stepping outside your door. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just like at a loss of words. Confusion, shock, disbelief, so many emotions today as people trying to deal with and cope with a shooting that left one man dead at Tuttle Mall. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Somerville. Thank you for choosing 10 TV News. Well, we were all over this story today as things continued to develop. 10 TV's Richard Solomon was first on the scene. He has been there all day long. Richard, you talked with police and people who were inside this mall when it all happened. Yeah, Brian, just before 930 this evening, we actually learned from police that it was a fight that started between Tyrone Gray Jr. and Dontarius Sylvester inside the Soul Stop shoe store inside of the mall. Police say Gray shot Sylvester. Police also tell me that it took them about 15 minutes to clear everyone outside of the mall to safety. But people who were inside the mall at the time of the shooting tell us it was terrifying. Panic and chaos filled the mall at Tuttle Crossing Sunday afternoon. People were selling shooter, shooter, active shooter, and that it was just crazy. I initially thought that this could be my last day. Columbus police say 25 year old Dontarius Sylvester died after a shooting inside the Soul Stop shoe store. Police say the shooting happening in a crowded mall with people and kids in the store. Some mall goers left shaken. Just anxiety, just like I felt like I was going to pass out. Like I just, it was just crazy. Police say at 241, they received multiple calls about an active shooter at the mall. Everybody's just shopping on a Sunday inside a shoe store and doesn't think this is going to happen. Columbus Police Sergeant Joe Albert says officers got there within minutes. He says they found Sylvester shot at least once in the store. Police tried to help him but he died at the scene. It's concerning because they're obviously very high, um, high populated locations. Um, but like I said, this is appears to be a very uh, isolated incident. Police say 24 year old Tyrone Gray Jr. was taken into police custody outside of the mall. He is charged with murder. We highly recommend anybody who, you know, Got cell phone video of it, you know, anything like that to call us. Now, according to court documents, there is video surveillance from inside of the store. Court documents state the video shows Sylvester and Gray in a verbal argument. The court documents also say the video shows Sylvester hit Gray with a handbag. Then Gray pulled out a black handgun, firing it multiple times, hitting Sylvester at least once. The documents say Gray called 911 himself, admitting to the shooting and claiming that it was in self-defense. Of course, this is a story that we'll update you on once we learn more information from police. You can, of course, stay updated online and on air. For now, reporting live in Columbus, I'm 10 TV's Richard Solomon. Bryant. Richard, thank you very much. Well, I also had a chance to talk to a man by Zoom earlier today who was at Scene 75, an indoor entertainment center at Tuttle Mall when the shooting happened. Sean Betters was there with his girlfriend and her three children when he says he heard a loud bang. And that's when he says he noticed other people running, falling over each other, trying to get out of harm's way. Well, I just didn't think. I just, like, it all just clicked in my head, and I just, like, grabbed, like, like two kids at the same time, didn't think I could grab both of them and just started running. Tomorrow, the Columbus City Council will recognize June as Gun Violence Awareness Month. After the recent shootings, the City Council plans to address gun violence. Following the meeting, members will lead the community in a vigil of healing and remembrance of lives taken by gun violence. At the vigil, City Hall will be illuminated orange for Gun Violence Awareness Month. The city tells us that attendees will be able to get resources, including gun locks and information about crime stoppers who work to solve cases and bring justice to grieving families.